Welcome back to Main Street Living. You guys know that I like to drive. Probably not the fastest driver in the world. And 20-year-old men can sometimes get a bad rap for driving too fast. But for our next guest, driving fast is his job. It's crazy, right? Now, at just 20 years old, he's already had success as a NASCAR driver. Let's welcome to the show Howie DeSafino the third. What's going on, good friend of mine? Kind of, sort of. <laughs> How have you been, man? You've been all right. Not too bad. Good, good. Well, you know, I know that we have our history on another show, but, you know, for the viewers of this show, how did your dream of being the NASCAR driver begin? Uh, my dream of as a NASCAR driver began when I went to the Richmond Raceway for the first year when I was eight years old. I saw these, like, little arena cars, and I was like, damn, I really want to get into one of those. And so uh, it, was just, it was just one of those things to where, you know, I asked my dad several times. I was like, hey, can I, you know, can I start racing? Can I start racing? And then eventually, four years later, when I was 13 years old, he uh, he let me start racing. So uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome to have a dream that's so young and then be able to to come up through the ranks. <laughs> and awesome to have your dad support you, obviously, too. Uh, I know lots of kids dream about being a race car driver, but you actually set out to make it happen. How did, how did you get started? I got started, uh, you know, like when I was 13. And, and, you know, my dad really didn't know anything about racing. I didn't know anything about racing. We just like watching it. So we kind of just went in there as rookies. All of us did. So so we didn't really have any, you know, good background in, in, in racing at all. So it was uh, it was really hard for us at first. And then we just, just kind of got better and better as, as the time went on. We all learned together. Yeah. So, so how you were uh, referencing your uh, race team. So tell us about your race team and how you all came together. So it, our race team was just more of a, a bunch of buddies that really didn't know what we were doing. And then we, we ended up, you know, figuring out more and more and more. We all had different skill sets. So like one guy knew how to work with electronics really good. So he handled our radios. One guy really knew how to read tires. So, he hit our tires and then, you know, I, I drove and, and my dad just kind of let everything happen. And it, it was just, uh, it was actually pretty awesome how we we became so good at, w at what we were doing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And I know to do something like this, you have to have sponsors, right? So who are your sponsor partners and what is your relationship like with them? So my uh, sp my partners are Buds, Keys Travel, Azalea Realty, Q's Barbecue, and Mass Mutual Greater Richmond. Uh, we really have a great relationship with them. It, uh, we, we all work, work together very, very good, you know, on, on our Facebook, Instagram, everything. Um, they, they promote me, I, I promote them. So we, we all have a really good relationship. We talk to them very, very, like a lot. Yeah. You, you know, so <laughs> getting the chance to do this, like, I know that there's got to be a huge responsibility you driving with sponsors on your car, right? So I'm sure there's a lot of pressure, but what races have you done this season and how did they go? Uh, this season, I ran Richmond, Texas, and Pocono. Uh, Richmond did not go very good for us. We had a lot of issues, radio issues, and then we had power steering go out for the last 50 laps, so I had to throw a 3,500-pound car into a corner without any power steering. Oh, go wow. 100, go 160, and then Texas was a really good race for us. We uh, we started 37th and finished 23rd, so uh, we did really good in that race. And then Pocono, we had radio issues at the beginning. At, of that race again and we started 39th and finished 22nd nice. so we uh we're really getting really good in, in the truck series and you know we, we've been picking up uh, about 17 places each race so uh very very happy with the way the season's going and i love that you seem like you're working with a lot of local people as well and that's really exciting because it's also important not only what you do on the track but off the track and i know you've done a lot of work to raise money for the Ask Foundation. What did they do, and, and why did you choose to work with them? I chose to, to work with them. Uh, it, it's just such a great organization that, that they have there. And uh, when, when I got presented with it, I was like, you know, that would be awesome to, to really go out there. And one of my sponsors, Q's Barbecue, they, they also help out Ask Foundation. So I was like, hey, well, you know, we can all partner up together and just, you know, help out. And what does the Ask Foundation do? They uh, they help out uh, childhood cancer, okay. so um, it, it's, a, it's such a great thing for, for them to. It, the organization got started by a very very young lady too, so mm -hmm. it, it, it's she actually unfortunately had it, so she just wants to present love to everyone that is going through it right now. Wow. All right, now <clears throat> I have a question for you, only because I've had 
the pleasure of competing against you, and you're very, very confident there, Howie. Uh, mm -hmm. But what what makes you so good at racing? That's what I need to know so I can beat you the next time. <laughs> oh, man, you have to have a lot of testosterone. That's all. That's the only thing I can tell you. To enjoy adrenaline, I have to imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You you know, it, it's one of those uh, deals where, you know, after you race, you're up for four more hours because, you you know, you even if it's a, 11 at night after a race, you're, you're up for four more hours because you, you'd be going 180 miles per hour and then you uh, go from being to zero miles per hour. So you just stay up and your blood's pumping. And everything's great. That Those yeah. four there, hours are great. Is there a specific type of car that you enjoy racing the most? Every every car or truck that I've jumped in, uh, I love all of them. Yeah, they they, they all they all drive differently. Uh, the trucks are a lot of fun to drive. So much downforce, you can really drive it in, into the corner really hard. Uh, so I, I really enjoy that a lot. Now I know if I said that I could drive it into the corner really hard, my mother would lose her mind. Be like, "What are you trying to wreck this vehicle for?" <laughs> That's a NASCAR term. I learned it from Howie, Mama. Okay. That's right. <laughs> now, uh, how we, one of our sister shows on your view uh, is called Driven, and they are putting the third season uh, uh, together, I guess, starting in September. Now, uh, your story will be featured on this first show. What will viewers see in this episode? They'll see my whole life story. Uh, basically, everything that, you know, I've uh, I've gone through, uh, you know, they'll, they'll see the house. Uh, what, what I like to do for for fun. So it, it's just it's just a whole view of just my whole life and then they, they were there for my first richmond race in nascar so so that was so they captured a very special moment as well so uh I, it was very great to, to have them out and uh just for, for them to tell my story yeah nice so great well how, how can viewers keep up with you and your team if you want to keep up with us you can follow us on facebook at howie d savino racing team uh instagram for how we do this savino twitter for hd savino and uh we have updates all the time so uh you, you'll definitely stay updated howie Salute. thanks so much for making the time man thank you i appreciate <laughs> it no problem man <laughs> uh well before you guys race off anywhere like mr howie there don't don't go anywhere because we have lots of fun things to do in nevada coming up next